We're just, I mean, at this point, we're literally always in a permanent waiting for Austin State. Yeah. Like, which blows my mind because, like, like, Cutie comes from, like, you know, a different state. Travels here from Washington. <laughs> and not even Washington State, from Washington, D.C. every day. I do. And she's here on time. Yep. Well, I mean, I she was a little late. Our nation's oh. capital. Can I say something funny to you, Hassan, that's sports related? I love funny things that are sports related. Um, you are so anti-sport that last night you oh. sent me a text. You said Israel has a shotgun. And I knew the Israel fight was happening, but I thought you were so anti-sports brain <sighs> that you about- literally were texting me about like a shotgun standoff on the Gaza Strip. I did not even think <laughs> about that but because I was like, you sent me a question mark back. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you not watching the fight? <laughs> I, I, oh, that's so funny. I did not consider for one second that you were watching the UFC. I did. I, I watched it. I smiled so big when you were like, oh, I just watched the fight. I was like, Hassan Piker getting into sports. Dude, I mean, I've watched, last time I watched the Israel fight when he lost was at your house. Israel's dope. He's so the sick. He's a weeb. Bender. Yeah. He's a weeb. I love me some weeb athletes. He did this. He yeah. Did do that. Well, that's did actually. See, That's actually Alex Pereira's thing. Like he did that to taunt him. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Did you oh. see the other thing he did? No, I've only seen Twitter. Ooh, clips. show the show my. I didn't okay. watch it. I'm We're gonna get good. started. Uh, Austin already move. knows. Austin already saw this. This yeah. is actually a Who's good that? point of contention. We could even debate on it. Go to my Twitter. Your Twitter. Go to my profile. And no, not that that one. There it is. All right, yeah, Take yeah. A look Play at this that. Cutie. Okay. This is maybe the most petty thing ever. Hold on, we're going to run it back because it's not showing on screen. For everyone. I remember, so the first time he knocked me out of Brazil, uh, his son came into the ring and then started to just lie dead next to me. And I'm like, you fucking little asshole. I'll whoop your ass if your dad don't do it for you. Sounds like seven at that point. Yeah, I looked for his kid and I I pointed at him and I saw him and I was like, hey, hey, hey. Just to remind him, he's crying, <laughs> which is awesome. I I fucking love I this shit. Fuck with that so. Heavy. I know he was like seven years old. I don't give a fuck. Oh know God. your place, kid. Yeah, dude, you're next. Yeah. You <laughs> want to talk about weeb moments? That is the most anime pro tag shit ever. Like, yeah, I killed your dad. Come back to me in a few years if you're still sore about it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, that's like some... Yeah, that kid is going to become a legend now. He's yes. going to become a legendary fighter. Yes. Meanwhile, that kid's like, what, 10 years old? Yep. His dad, Alex Pereira, was literally like already like a child slave working by uh, 12. So, yeah. I mean, he, he is a killer. Jeez. He is a killer. The guy that I Israel the was... I the guy it. that Israel was fighting I, against is like a honest, straight murderer. In my opinion, Israel did nothing wrong. What, uh, I mean, that what, I, I taunting agree. The kid? Taunting the kid. But you being an apartheid state? <laughs> we <didn't, laughs> the way you the way you dropped that. Wait a minute! Oh no! Yeah, we're back. We're back on Israel. That's right. Uh, he he moved the goalpost. Yeah, I've been uh, I've been saying like, dude, I I love Israel. I love Israel. People are clipping me. <laughs> yeah. Left and right. What are you drew? What is like that? I V. I get headaches. Are you hungover? I think I have sleep apnea. Hi guys, welcome to Cutie's Minute of the Week. I've decided I have sleep apnea. We gotta talk There's about. It's gonna be a long Cutie Minute this week. Yeah. No, okay. How about we have a woman's hour where not all the men are interrupting? I mean, I know. I we was just had too many people last bitches. time. Bitches. I was with we you, Queen. I was defending if your you honor. Back, you weren't even listening. If you go back to the tape, uh-huh. I was screaming at people trying to get them to you watch were. the tape. Uh, we, 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 whoa, he got nope, the props. Thank you. I literally no. said I'm an ally. I need. I was the one who threw it to you. Go to a concert. Mm. I threw it to you. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's fucked up. Uh, I I'm was not the one talking about Taylor without Austin here. I need a real ally. He doesn't know he can anything. Name five songs. Does he even uh, know anything about Taylor Swift? Five songs. Shake it off. One. Not even a good one. <laughs> no. Red uh, door. I'm the problem. <laughs> Red dress. I'm the no! problem. It's me. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. What's the title of that song? Donald Trump. No. Sometimes I feel like a sexy baby. No, that's not the title. She does say that in the song. She names her song shitty stuff. No, she doesn't. Whoa, I would never agree with that. I would literally never agree with that. Screen Door is definitely one. No, there is no song called Screen Door. What song is that? The uh, other side of the door? Marry me, but... That's Love Story. Oh, there you go. 
But there is a song called Other Side of the Door, which was oh, closer. Oh, see, I named both. Not five. Screen well, Door. That's five. That's I five. was confused. Anti-Hero is the uh, song you wrote. I'm the referee. Uh, that's five. Anti-Hero. By the way, I'm not ready does, to talk about it, it until Austin's here. It does get exhausting really, what? for the anti-hero. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Venom, anti-hero. Sick. Punisher, anti-hero. anti-hero. Sick. Yo, Boba Fett, anti-hero. Give me one. I like that. I like all three of those examples. You had a lot of anti-heroes ready to go. Dude, the anti-heroes There's are Jackie. the meta. Um, what? Nurse what is Jackie? Jackie? Isn't the fuck she is, an anti-hero? What the hell are you talking about? What is about? a Nurse Jackie? Dexter. Yeah, we love Dexter. Yeah, Dexter's um, great. The one guy who cooks meth. Walter, Walter White? White or Jesse yeah. Pinkman? Both of them are anti-heroes. That's they? incredibly People easy to root for. People never got tired of rooting for them. Yeah, I that's... didn't even finish season two, so oh! I guess... Wait, wait. I guess some of us. Did I'm get sorry. Tired. What were you rooting for in Breaking Bad? Cancer? Yeah. <laughs> I know it wasn't Skyler. <laughs> yeah, like I there's no. That's the that's the villain of the story. Um. Well, what have you guys done this week? Um, no, wait a minute. What? You're moving off Taylor Swift. I mean, yeah. Well, he, she wants to wait for Austin to come I back. I have to wait for Austin. No, well, you don't get. An I ally. need an ally. <laughs> I need an ally because let me tell you what. Is it? I this is my him. friend Valentina. She's an ally. Because Speak, <laughs> Valentina. Ally. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna text him. The I gay can't remember doing going this. wild. I need. I need a gay man here okay. for this. I have to. He's the fakest gay man. He did my makeup last night. The gays were in full blown upheaval. Yeah, I mean, he's not very he's MUA. Not very yeah. He was getting gay hate on his phone. <laughs> Really? Because he was doing my makeup so poorly and he refused to wear makeup. And apparently his gay inner circle were all sending him hate. Austin's getting messages on Grindr that are like, delete your account. <laughs> Wait, why was <laughs> he, don't why was he refusing to put on makeup? He said that he has been breaking out since the streamer awards because of the makeup that he just was- wore eyeliner, didn't he? Said that it caused a full blown oh my god full blown riot situation with this. Okay, well oh Austin is not here. I it, we're twenty four minutes late yeah, at this point. Yeah. I I literally ended my stream early, thinking that we were gonna do it. I said, "Bro, where are you?" No answer. I'm assuming he's drunk. Well, we're doing a family dinner tonight. What? We're doing a family dinner tonight. Who? Did you see in the text All chat? You are yeah. invited. Am I going? A- Guys, I don't know if I want to go. I have sleep apnea now. What? <laughs> Are you collecting shit like Pokemon to use I, against cutie hanging out? Been, what the <laughs> flying? Fuck I don't does feel that good. Do do? Something's wrong with me. I need to go to a doctor. I don't you're, feel good. You're gonna have Ludwig some delicious. Walked in the kitchen today. I was making chicken, and he was behind me. And I flinched and I screamed and I crouched. Okay, I that's mean, my PTSD. But I also have sleep apnea. A real vacation. Well, never. Wait, what? You have taken real vacations? When, bitch. Whoa. <laughs> You've gone to see family. He's, he's like shit camp. <laughs> gone to see. You went camping. Gone to see family. Shoes. When? In Christmas? Been a while, but yeah. Yeah. I'm, fair. I'm gonna, I'm valid. Gonna pipe in. I love my family. Going to see vacation is. Yeah, they're not. Going to see family I am is not vacation. Of a, I'm it's of, not of a Mormon family. There's 20 children. Okay. <laughs> they're all probably like. It's not a vacation. I have to work. Do they, how does that work? Do they find you to be like the cool aunt and shit? Or? I think I'm the problem aunt because my sister was just in town this weekend and um, she was going to Disneyland. And I was like, what did your kids say when you left them to come to Disneyland with me? They were like, well, well, they were like really sad at first. And then we said, well, Aunt Blair needs more friends. And then they felt bad. <laughs> Odd. That's oh, crazy. That's- that's no, more, no, that's it's more good. petty than Israel. It's good. <laughs> yeah, over they're gonna. They I, just, you I, just got owned by like a seven year old. I know, with a nine year old. But I've told them they could start shipping out the nine year old to me. I said, ship him out every once in a while. I'll take him to Hogwarts. I'll take him to Disney. Are they still in you the church? You told your Mormon yeah. family to ship the kid out so you could take him to Hogwarts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let no, me Mor- take him to do some witchcraft. No, Mormons no, aren't Mormons like that. Aren't, Mormons, Mormons are fine. aren't afraid of. Mormons love Harry Potter. Mormons aren't afraid of uh, witchcraft. I don't think you're, you're thinking of like evangelicals, like specific sects. That think it's Satanism. Well, we don't like witchcraft, us Mormons. Me, I'm still Mormon. Yeah. Happy Easter. Um, Austin is calling me right now. Hold answer on. Answer it. Brother, okay. where are you? I'm on my way. George is coming. What? Oh, well, we, we already started. Uh, Wait, why do you start? I don't know. Because you're 30 minutes late. Because you're 30 late. minutes late and you didn't inform us at all about what you were doing. So we just started. Wait, you, were, you were still streaming. Yeah, I ended the stream as soon as 5 p.m. rolled around because I... That's how obligations work. I know, but I just didn't know that that's why. Uh, it's all good. Don't worry. We, we have, right, we have room right. for we'll George. We'll have him for the, uh, the, the behind the paywall portion. Uh, 
Do you want do you want George to yeah. not come anymore? Yeah, it's fine. Right? We can set it up, oh, right? Uh, I need a mic. Yeah, we have a mic. We can we can set it up. Yeah, sorry. I just, I just wasn't sure when you were going to end because like you were it was like 449 and you were If still only we had a text like, message. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it's it's there's this cool thing called a phone that you can use to send text messages which we were I know. I fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are such <laughs> He's a messy a good apologizer. bitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, how long have you been uh, when did you start? Like 20 Five. minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Yeah, we've been just talking shit about how late you are. Really? For 20 minutes? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, you give you us a lot of content. No, I texted you, and when it oh got to, God. like, when it got to, like, the 20-minute mark, I was like, okay, he must be trolling. No. Oh, my God. I can't believe that this is the case. Wait, wait. Do you want George to come or not? Because we're yes. like 20 minutes in. Yes. 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 I said, oh, uh, sh- well, shit. I mean, we're what? halfway through. Wait, it's fine. Just just get over here now. All right? I'm, I'm hanging up. I'll be there in like two minutes. I'm very close. <laughs> There's no world. Okay. No all right, world. Bye. Please put up the timer. I'll be yeah, there in him, two ti- minutes. Ready? Because, and timer? Yeah. Um, by the way, I don't think the podcast has been bad without a guest or without Austin. No. No. Well, it's, what? We got to have Austin. Austin's heart just broke. You, I can't believe you said <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, going to, he's going to die. No, he's great. But I, I was just saying... This hasn't been a bad episode. We've really parsed through We've some things. We've made it through 11 minutes. Yeah, we did. And it's we mostly did. been my anxieties. Well, that's, that's every episode. That's every episode. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. There's like a 30-minute carve-out for like what, what particular anxiety you have yeah. this week, every okay, episode. Well, this week I have sleep apnea, and I'm going to call doctors tomorrow. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Guys, do you ever not sleep? Yeah. I'm actually a really good yeah, I'm a log, too. I am so I didn't fall asleep until 6 a.m. the other night. Will either goes on like 35 hour no sleep schedules or sleeps for like 18 yeah. hours and nothing in between. I don't think I should have this much anxiety because I don't even do drugs. That's true. You know what I would recommend? What? Drugs. Working out. I work. I do. I go to the personal trainer. I, my therapist told me that would fix me. It has not. Do you go every day? I go uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. It hasn't I don't, helped at no, all? No, not at all. I think I need to do cardio. That cardio helps. I know. Yeah, cardio is great. But I do the an issue- hour of cardio every day before I work out. Really? Yeah. I watch two episodes of One Piece. He's a psycho. I have a soul cycle, but they don't have any Taylor Swift classes. Peloton has Taylor Dude, Swift classes. Dude, that is so fucked up. You're right. Someone, I know. They need, to, oh they need to change hey, that. I have a Peloton. So validated. Are they really? anti- I can trade you. You want to trade? I'll trade you for a while. Really? Yeah. Are you going to ship it over to like Nevada? Hey. Okay. Attitude. You're right. Back out of the concert. Yeah. I, oh I want everyone to know that I keep talking about the concert, and so now I keep getting DMs from random people asking to come, and I feel so bad. I do you because you don't feel bad telling us. Well, Fuck you. That's because you can't even name ta- five Taylor Swift songs. To the concert. name five Taylor Swift songs. Anti-hero love song. Revolving you can't door. Give the no behind the revolving door. Just, literally, it's crazy because we've talked about this for a month, and you haven't even Googled no. <laughs> that's it's definitely me. a song. No. It's me. I. I'm the problem. It's me. Anti-hero. <laughs> It's crazy because Red is a song and Dress is a song. Paris. Okay, Red what? and Dress. Paris. Paris is a song. Oh! You just made that. You yes! literally were like, every, everyone is that a song. Yes! <laughs> you, how did you come up with that one? I'm, I'm him. That's insane. You just made that up. <laughs> all right, um, last one. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use all my knowledge. All of my knowledge. Okay, I got one. Oh. Fuck John Mayer. No. <laughs> That's not a song. The song. I thought that would be. Also, for all the Swifties out there, I know you're going through a lot right now. Breakups, you know, whatever. Oh, 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 oh we're going to talk about wait, that. Wait, Don't wait, worry. Five? Five? Shake it off. I did it. Oh, he's good. I he's good. He's safe. It. He's safe. Not, he he's safe. Qualified. What? You're not you're qualified. You're changing the rules halfway. You say so I just horn swoggle. I, <laughs> you are literally dishonoring Taylor Swift by no, changing the rules. You just changed the rules. None of the audience even wants to hear me talk about Taylor Swift right now. You are literally shaking it we off right now. We have one hater in our comments each week, and he hates me. You look at the comments? Like, yeah. What's wrong with you? Because There's he like hates 2, me. <laughs> comments. She he, hyper He replies to everything, and he was like, she ruined Hassan and Will. She ruined Hassan and Will. So I want to give that guy five un- involved minutes of Hassan and Will. Here you go, guy. Cutie, you know why you No, take it away. Don't mention me. You know What's why you should. Guys, that though. <laughs> what? I can't sleep at night. Isn't that very Taylor Swift? 
But to have a man say that you ruined men and when in when in fact you only improve them and your absence will ruin Dude, he us. is so good. He you can give my slot to him. <laughs> it's fine. It's me. I'm the problem. It's me. That's four minutes I hear him stomping in. Nope, that's not nope, him. That, I think that might be Marant. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah, no, he's not here. I hate waiting um, for him. What else happened this week? That we're going to we need a about? chair for oh. George as well. Does George have an accent or is it fake this whole time? Have you never met him? It's no. fake. He's American. We've met, I think. Oh, yeah. he's he's. Wait, what? he's been to my house. What is fake is that he's 35 years old. That makes sense. That, okay. That's kind of fucked up because he is actually a lot older than the <laughs> Minecraft kids. <laughs> Is he? Like, because he looks eighteen, but he's not. He's like twenty. Let's talk as much shit on him as we can until he gets. I know we will, and then when he gets here, we'll be like, "Oh, buddy, I, I love you." Hey, pop it. We got in Leviosa. <laughs> that I'm not. <laughs> what? I'm nervous. I said that, and now people are gonna the say third, I'm transphobic. I'm not. The transphobic. third British thing you mentioned is just <laughs> Hogwarts. It's a spell. <laughs> it is. A it's spell. not even English. You just. Uh, <laughs> what else happened this week? Guys, um, we we had the Israel Adesanya fight, which was yep. fire. Oh, that was a five minute timer that just uh, went off. Ooh. Israel Adesanya fight fire. Um, I took I, the week I, off. I, I, I haven't streamed. You, I don't want to stream for the month of April. Wait, why? Because I vacation. Something's wrong with my brain. It's not working anymore. Vacation, all I ever wanted. It's Taylor Swift. Yep. No. <laughs> She has. She did a rendition of she, it. No, she didn't. Not oh once. my god! Pull it up. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Pull up. Vacation. All I ever wanted by Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Please, be, please exist. Please exist. Please Doesn't exist. exist. <laughs> no, no. Do uh, cover. Yes. Taylor Swift cover. The song is. Is the song even called Vacation? Come on. So uh, embarrassing for you guys. Cardigan. I would stop looking at the YouTube. <laughs> Once you can explain to me the um, the oh. lyrics of which one? Maybe happiness. Once you can explain to me the lyrics of happiness and what that pull songs them up. mean. I ready? Wait. Watch. I got this. Wait, wait, wait. I got no, no, this. No, no. Wait, on, let hold me hold make on. sure that's the right. Let's song. pull up the let lyrics and then we will interpret it. Okay. Okay. Wait. I want to take a guess before. Okay. Happiness is about. How Wait, close your eyes. Finds, I have to make sure this is the right song. I, she finds Show it her me, own self-love without, yes, the, this is without the validation without a man. of a man in her life. Yeah. No, that's not okay, it. Okay, well, let's let's see. Um, okay. First one. Honey, when I'm above the trees, I see this for what it is, but now I'm right down in it. All the years I've given is just shit we're dividing up. Showed you all of my hiding spots. I was dancing when the music stopped. And in the disbelief, I can't face reinvention. I haven't met the new me yet. This is definitely post-breakup. Yes, so I'm on track. So Will is not wrong about Spoiler it. Will. Okay, and okay, she okay. has she has invented it. She, Number it one, seems like, this isn't the song I was thinking of. Oh, <laughs> oh, But wow. you are close. You are close. This hey, is, Gaspethy. I'm thinking of... Um, Wait, you got the Taylor Swift wrong, song right? Or wrong? Why I is he knocking him. like a cop, He's dude? Knocking like the feds. Uh, no, one second. I'm on no sleep. Uh. Mm. No, he could just open the door. Yeah, the door is not locked. I don't know why he's. What? You have a key to my house. No, just. I uh, okay. It's well when he walks in. <laughs> Stop it when he walks in. To be fair, I'm though, I'm looking for seven. That's what I'm looking for. I'm okay. sorry, they're kind of similar melodies. Seven minutes and forty seconds. Got the jacket on too. Oh yeah, he was wearing that earlier. Okay, yeah, Where's I'll George? Wear Where's George? He, 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 oh okay. He, he, yeah, where were you, Austin? Awesome? Okay, you have to use the non-stable There's mic. There's no way that's gonna happen. In all fairness, he's not. It's not gonna. Not gonna has been lacking in this podcast. Wrong. No, it's not. Wrong. This is the most community have we've been in literally Wrong. years. Wrong. Communication has been lacking. Let's all vote. We all have a vote. You getting static? One, two, three, four, five, six. One. George, I'm George. Stop touching it, Austin. Oh yeah, this is loose as hell. We might need a new one.
Oh, why am I? That's How long have you guys been doing this for? Shut up. Uh, <laughs> we've been live for, I think, like 30 minutes at this point. Let's, let's go ahead minutes. and take a vote. Who thought, Arsh, be in frame for this, please. Who thought communication this week was lacking? Go ahead and raise your hand. Who thought communication was ample and knew to be here at five? I think it was better than usual. Yeah, it was really good. For the what record, I proposed six and everybody changed it. I, I mean, middle of the day. It got corrected to five o'clock at one o'clock p.m. And you were here. <coughs> like you were, I think, <laughs> no, no, you, were, you were here at, in my today. house earlier today when that changed Earlier happened. today, you I was here. You smell somewhere. like alcohol. I, I'm so sorry. Where were you, Austin? I was at a bar. Oh my God. What, what kind of bar? It it's was a gay Easter. bar. Just a normal bar? I was at a gay bar. Do I really smell like alcohol? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You is got it? issues, man. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> we're we're going to have to stage an intervention for you. No, thank you, Mauricio. Well, no one I can hear not, him. So I do not. He said I smell great. Cutie's lying. He stinks. Yeah, but I do not stink like alcohol. Yeah, That's Billy Ray You reek of the opium pipe. I did not. <laughs> I do not smell like alcohol. For the record, okay? We. You're going to be so hot. Oh, look, never, with that jacket. ever, ever. I'll be honest. I made a mistake today. I got a guest in George Not Found and didn't tell anybody. That's true. But in all fairness, I didn't hear about anything until like noon. Okay. Are we extending the um, the prepaid portion of the podcast to George? What's the prepaid? Well, like this is. We're like, not going to stop. We'll keep going. This is how okay. it always we works. Just go until it's bad. You just go until it's bad. Got it. Yeah. Okay. I've got a lot of stuff to talk about today. You do. But first of oh, all, let's boy. just get past this. I apologize for being late. Okay. Don't forget. I was you. busy coordinating our guest. At the you bar? Were at no, you bar. weren't. You were at a gay bar. You I, were de you were definitely flirted. I was dancing. You were drinking I and you were drinking. dancing. I was dancing. Noon? It was it's Easter. Happy Easter. Okay, he has risen. And I'm not talking about Jesus. Oh no. Oh, no. Just <laughs> kidding. Come on, take a joke. Come He's on, trying. folks. Lighten up. <laughs> Come on, folks. Come on, lighten up. Folks. All the folks in can, chat. Can we we need to talk about something very sensitive? Okay, what's up? Austin Show abandoned an old confused woman at the airport. Okay. Look, all right. I flew in from Los Angeles yesterday. We're just getting started here. I flew in from Los Angeles yesterday, and I sat next to a 72-year-old woman. Yes. And immediately I sat down, and I thought maybe this is somebody that, you know you know when you see somebody, you know you're going to talk to them or not during the course sure. of the flight. I sat down with her, and I was like, this is somebody I'm not going to talk to. And it had nothing to do with who she was or whatever. She just didn't give that vibe that she wanted to speak. I was wrong. She tapped me on the shoulder while I was looking at my phone and my headphones were in and she wanted to speak. The thing is though, is she was 72. She was very, she was from uh, El Salvador. She didn't speak any, Eng very little English. Yeah. Very little English. Um, and I, uh, for some reason, decided that I told her I spoke Spanish. What? In Why? Which case, well, I told her I, sp I spoke Spanish, but a little bit and only took seven years. But she took this <laughs> Only as, seven which years. Which is true. It's true. It's not a lie. She says, Can oh. you speak Spanish at all? Yeah, sí. Estudié español por siete años. Estudié español por siete años. Sí. Sí, está bien. Mauricio, Hola, soy hab Dora. Hab habla conmigo. Bien. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> estamos en el podcast. <laughs> He just destroyed you with one no, question. Yeah, he what asked you, you a do? question. Or what are we doing? Or, like, <laughs> or, uh, or anyway, so I was sitting there next to the, the being a pathological liar, woman, and she decided she decided that, I, and I told her that I didn't speak English, or excuse me, <laughs> I speak very good English. Oh, hello. <laughs> All right. So I told her I said I don't speak very good Spanish, and she's like, "Well, you know, um, she thought I was joking because." she proceeded to sp for the next two hours of the flight to speak fluent Spanish. <laughs> and I was too uh, nice to say, I don't speak very good Spanish and you need to slow down. So I was sitting there smiling and nodding throughout the course of the flight as she showed me her life. She talked about her ex-husbands. She showed me her family. She wow. talked about um, where she was going and what she was doing in Los Angeles and how long her vacation was. And I was picking up like every seventh word of what she was saying. And I was nodding and smiling. And then I would switch to English and she would aggressively switch back to Spanish. And it was just like this whole thing, all right? And I'm thinking, okay, you know I what? I love how he says aggressively. Yeah. Like this 70 year, two year old woman is like, no. <laughs> no, but she, she was definitely like- Habla Espanol. Yeah, no, she was definitely like into speaking Spanish. And she was very sweet. I want to make that very clear. She was very sweet. 
So we go through the course of this um, conversation. So you told her, speak American, damn it. No, this no, is America. I, I was listening. I learned about her family, her ex-husband. Yes. It was great. So um, she was also a nervous flyer. So I was like trying to comfort her in Spanish somehow. <laughs> it was very difficult. And um, anyway, so this is this, it gets worse. Oh, God. Yeah. So the language barrier was fine. I was about to part ways. And then I learned, oh, my God. She's like, I don't know where baggage claim is. And I'm like... I'm an expert. I need to help you get to baggage claim. And so said, she's lost. Bien, vamos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> vamos aquí. So I get her bags and I and I carry her bags all the way to baggage claim. And on the way to baggage claim, I find out number one, she doesn't know where baggage claim is. She doesn't know where her family is. <laughs> and she doesn't know where to pick them up. And she hasn't heard from them in like two days. Oh my God. And I'm all of a sudden I'm in here on the plane after it, I speak no Spanish. She still thinks I speak Spanish. And I'm sitting here now in a dire situation <laughs> because she is like completely like confused and, and I'm trying to help in Spanish and it's not working. And um, I end up helping her with her bags. And then eventually she's like, I was like, okay, do they, do they, are they going to come get you? She's like, yes. I said, how do you know? She said, I spoke to them two days ago. I was like, do they have a cell phone? They said, no, only a landline. I was like, okay, this is all in Spanish, by the way. I don't know how we got through it. But then finally, I'm just like, Okay, I get her bags and I'm like, and I look out to the sea of cars. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, oh my, my God. God, I just don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. And I'm like trying to be respectful because she's like clearly competent. I don't want him to see her like an invalid. See, left her. <laughs> I asked her if she was okay and if she needed any additional assistance. And she said, see. Sí. No, she and said, you're like, oh, fuck, I don't no, know what that said, means. No. And I said, oh my God. She's like, so nice to meet you. Thank you for being so kind. And I said, mucho gusto. And you left her on the curb. And I left her at the airport. And <laughs> it's crazy because there's uh, reports of a missing woman. But, but here's 72 years old. I, I, think, I think I made the right decision. Here's why. I think a lot of times folks that are of older age, I worked in, a, I worked in an elderly folks home. For Wait, time. really? Oh, so, oh, I'm trying to look at myself. I worked in I worked in a place where there were and and I think one of the biggest things is you don't want to like make them seem like they're you in, don't want to infantilize them. exactly and they're not that she was a grown woman she could fend for herself without a lick of English speaking she ability. spoke a, a better English than I'm giving her credit for she spoke like broken English you're like yeah this is a good life experience for her <laughs> this is a valuable life experience but Will thought I was wrong to leave her at the airport. I would have found an airport worker. Maybe. No, but I thought that was be that would be like <laughs> too much. What? Like this? If, I, if I made sure she was safe, that would have. <laughs> no, no, no. But like she said, she's gonna figure it out. She said to just she. The plan was to go wait for her family on the curb at LAX. Yes, which is so easy. Which to is find she's people. out there. She's out there explaining to her grandchildren how some. Minnesotan straight guy was macking it with her. No, I was. I mean, she was divorced. Her, her she was, she was widowed. Well, guys, Twice. the good news is she's with her family now. Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. They all died. She with her but Will was giving me shit about this. But yeah, you should have found someone. Why'd to you help. engage so much? Is my question. Oh, I gotta let George in. He's here. Okay. The door's open. By the way, who's coming to dinner? I'm coming. I feel like I'm coming now, but I've got to message my boyfriend. So six? I have to message my boyfriend. For what? To see if he wants to come. Not going to come. Six? I think. But I've, yeah, but I have to message my boyfriend. There's no shot he's coming. Take your shoes off, George. Or what he said. Yeah, I'll I'll put the I'll bring the katana out. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Oh, close oh perfect. Close the other. Can you close the other screen too? Just like. Man, make them work already. I can't. No, no, no. What? First of all, we didn't start the podcast without Are George. You upset that we, we started that you the podcast. I can hold it for you. I have to hold the mic. Yeah, yeah. we have a. We, Austin, could hold Austin it. is unfortunate. Uh, whoa, 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 he's already he's already fucking it up. Oh my god! You need to switch me seats, Austin. No, it's totally fine. We don't trust Austin with the with the spare mic. No, no. I um, <laughs> called it. Are you coming? He George? has a stream. Um, when's dinner? Right after this, I'll come. 
Okay, cool. A little Nobu. A little Nobu oh, action. You guys are fancy. Mm. I'm not some... super hungry, but... I'll I eat. am. Just ate before I'm I go starving. I'll, I'll eat. I'll nibble. Shit. I'll nibble a little bit. Some nibble, some apps. Just a little appetizers. I mean, that's fucking all they do is wh- like little the, small things, right? The yeah. Wagyu tacos, uh, the sushi's good. I don't eat it. Mm. I like the crab, the tempura crab and like the ponzu mm. sauce. Tempura. <laughs> what? Why the way you, you said it. How are you like supposed to say it? Tempura. tempura. What did you say? Tempura? Tempura. 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 I like the tempura crabs. Tempura. Crab rangoon. Crab rangoon. I mean, gaslit. Crab yeah. rangoon. Tempura. Like crab that. rangoon might be my favorite food. Really? It's I don't like so it. Bad. What's your favorite? Like crab, what's your favorite cuisine? Kind of things. Favorite cuisine yeah. across the planet. Jesus, <laughs> across the planet. I I, I, I hate to be a Excluding fucking outer space. but I, I think Japanese food. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Sushi, you. Sushi, ramen, sandos, mm. katsu. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> what do I like? Yeah, yeah so I, good. I agree. Actually, I think Japanese cuisine is my favorite. It's wild. Japanese meats are the best. I would agree with that. Japanese too. Japanese meats have ruined me. I think I like Mexican food. Mexican food is up there very too. Good. Very good. Good choice. Hassan, Turkish food? American, baby. American. American. America has very good food. Yeah. I revealed something to you last night that you were surprised. What? I love German food. Yes. What is German That's food? A very you should not admit so that in public. German food's so good. I, I don't really, I didn't even sauerkraut. Th- Schnitzel, sauerkraut, spatzel, bretzels, uh, all the, the whole pretzels. fucking thing. I didn't even think pretzels. of German as having like a food. You know what I mean? What? They don't think so either. Like no more. Like potatoes worry. and like meat. It's just like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not very unique. It's it's literally like practical. It's like, it, I feel like it's food for people who are like, I'm just trying to eat. Like, I, I just need to. Uh, it makes your guts all warm and toasty. Yeah, I don't know. I, I will tell you, German food is better than British food. That's true. That British, British cuisine sucks. Really it's atrocious. I think British food, I like the, well, to be fair, actually, maybe I don't like British food. I like the food in England. Yeah, but like, <laughs> that's entirely different than British food, though. <laughs> British is food British, is what vile. Is food? Peas. Peas. I like peas. Mushy peas, peas, right? Mushy peas. Right? Mushy peas. Like peas. Like jelly peas. deals. Jelly yeah, deals. Jelly deals. Je- jelly cottage pie. Like shepherd's, shepherd's pie. pie is good. You know the difference between the two, Will? Between what pie? Shepherd's and pie and cottage pie. No. Shepherd's pie is lamb meat. Cottage pie is beef. A lot of people mistake and mischaracterize shepherd's pie as having beef. Wow. It's actually cottage pie. That's well, that makes sense because shepherds sheep. have sheep. Yeah. Yeah, I like a scotch a egg. That's, okay. like, That's Scottish, right? Yeah, but yeah, I'll give it <laughs> to what you. What about dippy eggs? Have you ever had dippy eggs? Like a... A boiled egg that's not fully boiled. Yeah, what about dipping dots. Oh, beans and <laughs> toast. Oh, that's dippy good. eggs. Is that is that dippy British? Is yeah, is dippy eggs is British, isn't it? Ooh, I, I, I do love that. me some dippy eggs. Like yes, dippy eggs. very nice. Very great. I have yeah. a little bit like of yolk? toast on the side. No. You don't like yolk? I don't think so. Mm, I love yolk. I like my. How do you like your eggs? I don't like egg. I don't yolk? really like eggs. Okay, if you if you had to make your eggs, how would you like? What the fuck? Okay. I usually get a fried egg, but I also like like sunny side up. Yeah, but I also like the one where you. You spin the water and you crack it into the water. Poached. 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 I like a yeah. poached egg with a bit of vinegar. You That's know. Eggs Benedict is poached. No. Well, it's uh, very different, actually. No, 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 no. Eggs Benedict has poached eggs. Yes. 100%. Eggs Benedict it's 100% poached. is poached, poached soft, eggs. Poached soft. And then Hollandaise. And Hollandaise top. sauce. Hollandaise, yeah. Yeah. Good call. Yep. I'm, I'm a You're so bougie. So I've bougie. never made any Because he was at things. brunch today. He no, I, I didn't have. I had a salad at brunch. A chicken salad. Chicken the side of Bloody, of Bloody Mary, Mary. Santa Fe. Yeah. Yesterday. And a, what? You had a chicken salad today and yesterday. Did I have one with you? You said you had one in the club. Or was that a joke? That was he today. Was at a club today. It's a bar or club. Wait, what time? time? Like a couple hours ago. I was late. Oh. There at like two. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He's messy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I assumed yeah. it was not. Yeah. But I'm here. No. I'm here. Well. Yeah, I was about to give a close runner-up to Indian food. Indian food absolutely. <laughs> I Very good. Mean, garlic naan, cheese naan, mm. regular naan, mm. glob jamun. You guys ever had Frankie's? Samosas. Oh, jamun Frankie's so Indian good. street food. Oh, man. They're very close to, uh, I forgot what they're Where is that? Uh, it's what Indian street food. Frankie's, Frankie's Indian street food? Look up Frankie's. Google it. Is it in LA? No, it's in. No, it's not like a, it, they're called Frankie's. It's Indian street food. Bombay oh, okay. Frankie, Bombay burritos. I think that's in Culver, but 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 that no, that's not the place I'm talking about. But no, he's saying the name of it is called, called Frankie's. Frankie's. Yeah, 
When you say Indian street food, I think New York. And like the last time I made the mistake, like I have an iron constitution. You know, I ate a lot of street food in Turkey growing up. I eat raw meatballs. It's like one of my favorite delicacies in Turkey. I had Indian street food uh, in New York, and I will never make that mistake ever again. Yeah. Is it bad? Bro, I was sick. I was really pissing in out York? of my ass, dude. You had, oh man. I was like, I, 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 he's right about that Turkish food. I've told you guys, I got the sickest I've ever been eating Turkish street food. Really? Wait, no, but I'm saying this was Indian street food that I had that was sick. That made me sick. Turkish food is fine for me. Well, I had Turkish yeah, street food in Turkey. I, I don't think because you had one bad experience doesn't mean you should generalize. No, it. I, I, it's hard to go back though. You should try it. It was a life changing moment for me. The Indian street food did that you, I had. Did you puke too? Uh, I think I did. Yes. Have you ever had food poisoning, George? Uh, yeah. Wow. It's just you just get sick and then it's gone, right? I well, mean, actually, for a lot of people, it lasts a long time, right? You can die from food poisoning. Every time I've had it, I just throw up within like an hour or two of eating it. I think like a few hours, and then that's it. There's this weird thing in the restaurant industry where they say that you can't get food poisoning until like 24 hours after. Yeah, that's that's wrong. It's, it's so wrong. I, I, I had dinner one time. I had the, I remember it so clearly the, the taste in my mouth. But it was like some fish thing my mom made. Uh-huh. And I went to sleep. And I woke up throwing up. Yeah. And I was like, I could have died from that, I guess, right? Yeah. And I remember yeah, that. Yeah, you could. Like yeah, the you taste like in my nose and stuff. Yeah. Like, oh my God, it was disgusting. Yeah, you could have. You could have definitely suffocated and died. And then we would have never not. We never would have well, found was, George. You kn- I, it was a while ago. We would have never even met. <laughs> Where did you find your name, by the way? Dream came up with it, actually. Really? Yeah. Wow. And we so were, what, what about how did it come in? You, You've probably told this story a million times. Um, Maybe once or twice. God damn it. It would have been perfect yeah, we for were, that. Yeah, you thought you were getting like the scoop. I really did. I, mean, we, I we don't have to say it if you don't want it. No, you I really thought don't. you thought nobody asked him how he got his name Never. up until this moment. I thought like we could have we could have clipped this. It would have been three million views. <laughs> how George Moore found got his name? Yeah, and then we we'll honestly like, we were just thinking. To be fair, actually, maybe I haven't said what my other names were before that we had. Ooh, oh, what are they? Drama. Um, I can think of at least one. Thundercock. Yeah. <laughs> Thundercock 28. Yeah. yeah that um, was a good one. No. So it was, we were just thinking of names. And I, I wanted to have George in it because mm. um, I didn't want people to call me something else like Sapnap or something stupid, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's uh, oh, so I hate that name. Yeah. Terrible. I just name. wanted to be called George, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so we were thinking of names with some, essentially something George or George something. And one, and also George of the Jungle. Yes. That would have been a good one. Brilliant. Yeah. But unfortunately, I didn't. Copyright infringement. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, you did. That was why we didn't pick it. Yep. But um, I think at the beginning, I wanted to do Sir George. Ah, ah. I love that. And I wanted That's to have like great. the logo be like like a guy with like a monocle and like a, a little squiggly. That's stuff. fun. You know what I would have done? What? Jorge Diamonds. <laughs> Bro, no, does he Jorge give you? Diamonds. Is, is he mean? giving Jorge diamonds? Hey, what is that? That's such a great name. No, that that's, sounds like a porn star. That's name. Spanish. I was gonna for, say that could be your porn name, that's Jorge Diamonds. Spanish for George. Hey, but why diamonds? Oh, for Minecraft. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's Jorge why, why diamonds because it sounds sexier. Okay. Jorge diamonds sounds like a George serious found man. Is Jorge no encontrado. I think. Mm-hmm. I, I think that Spanish. George not found is great. Sir George would have been George. quite George nice. Was it was taken? So that was the reason, actually. I wanted it to be that, available oh. on everything. And I checked like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, whatever else. Uh-huh. And Sir George was, I think, not available on YouTube, which Damn was the most important shit. one. Obviously. So you, you we, we were one platform away from You're some right. guy that just was thinking, like he came up it's, with some random name, didn't go anywhere. You might have been off. Of, you could have it's, did Sir George guy. become anything uh, on YouTube? <laughs> Let's look this piece not. of shit up. I hate him. This but, is what prevented us from having Sir George. I guess not. No, that's Sir George one two three. Go to youtube.com slash Sir George. Cause that will be the one with the actual at. It's oh. not. It's available. You lied. No, it's I, available. You lied to us. They must have deleted their account. They, no, <laughs> no, they must have deleted the account or something. Drama. Up oh, there's. Okay, yeah, you Corey were about to Jones. kill me. Look what happened. <laughs> oh, sorry. No videos. No subscribers. Corey Jones. Nothing. 2012. Wow. Wow. That's I do crazy. love that he just like kind of landed on this and just sat with it. We don't even know what's going on in his <laughs> life. He just took that away from I'm, you. I'm actually kind of interested to know if I had been Sir George, would things be different? Yes, you of think? course it would be. 
You think? To be received differently. Actually, yeah, it's to be there fair, would be I no there'd be no I DNF. Like what would it be? It actually, I like, it makes me feel like mm, it's a you know? I it's like, I it's disagree like, with this. What well, Hassan's what? take? I think I don't think it matters what your name is. Really? I, <laughs> do you know what I was always? <laughs> do you want, do you Funny that you my, said that. Why do you say? No, that? no. I think it matters what your name is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Depends on the context. My name on Twitch was almost extra filthy. Because that's really? my that's my league name, and I went to get it. And it was and, well, I mean, you can change it on Twitch anyway. It doesn't matter. It's like pretty easy to change. Yeah, but you would have stayed with extra filthy. You know, you know, Twitch would call you, you filthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch lazy. Even if you're a partner that streamer, call you cutie. Do you know that? What? Even if you're a partner streamer, Twitch will let you change your name every sixty days or something. Really? Yeah. Yep. You could still be extra filthy. I could be. It's extra never filthy. too late to change. The yeah. problem is, like, you know, that would kind of fuck everything up. Probably extra filthy is such a good name, though. People, the people would take the extra off and they go filthy. It depends. I like that. They though. might call you extra getting called or filthy. filthy is such a good nickname. Filthy, like filthy. slime. I love the name filthy. Cutie. Some words are just great. Well, you guys want to know what some of his other usernames are that are terrible? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Rap scallion, dirty, dirty rap, rap scallion, clinical hits, <laughs> clinical strike. I like these. What else? Um, <laughs> That's such a fucking sweaty gamer name. Violator. Oh god. <laughs> that one would have been a problem. <laughs> okay, so, so the, the violator was a name for a character in Spawn. <coughs> oh, okay. Well, you, don't fine, don't then. say okay no, it's just fine. yet. It's Spawn. Do you have, did you have any other name ideas? Cutie. Cigar. Um, just Blair. I wish I would have gone with just freaking Blair. But then there's that weird Republican lady who's Blair, Blair White. Yeah. Why would you have gone with Blair White? Blair. She would have gone, gone with Blair, Blair Cinderella. White, and it would. Yeah. yeah. Why would you go with White? No, I would have just rather have gone with Blair. But at the time, if you like, uh, it's also bad SEO. I just my name is so. Can I ask you a stupid. name question? Yeah. You're cutie Cinderella. Uh huh. Some people call you QT Cinderella, and it makes me angry. I like QT. Better than cutie, cutie Cinderella, but it is QT cutie Cinderella. Cinderella. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's because of I'm a cutie no. pie. No, yeah, it's because of I'm a cutie pie. I've always called you cutie Cinderella, not QT. I've just Cinderella. called you cutie, and it's also. I'd rather be called just the letter Q, the letter T. You know what? Why I don't like QT? Why? Because it reminds me of old timey. People would say, "Keep it on the QT," which what like does that mean? keep it quiet. That's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I thought about changing my name to And you're QD. definitely not quiet, Cinderella. No. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I thought about changing my name to like QDC. Yeah, I've never heard that expression <laughs> QTC. before in my life. Yeah. Like yeah. That Kinda. seems like an exclusive, like... No, that's like, that's like 40s era type. Radio yeah, that's like jargon. something that only... That's like the last remaining whites only golf club speech. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> when Austin changed his name, I th was, I was trying to... Th I wanted to change my name. I was like, let's just make a freaking, let's just change names. But then <laughs> you should change your. He's so sweating hard. over here. <laughs> I almost took. I almost switched my name to this Rush <laughs> Patel. Um, but then. Oh, that's a cool name. Yeah, Ludwig. Ludwig was like. I find it very offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Ludwig was like, "Don't change your name. You already have so much SEO." And so I didn't change my name. But and now I have even more SEO. I so got, when I changed my I'll name, I'll never to change Austin this goddamn show. stupid name. Oh yeah, people thought that Austin Show wasn't a good name. For the longest time. I yeah. thought it was a great name. Well, a lot of people. It seems like I was the name. one who pushed you to do it. Yeah. Do you yeah, have you any can. other options? I think it's The Austin Show. I yeah. think it's yeah, landed I remember the Austin so show. well. Yeah. I think Austin Show is so good. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think Mr. It's Mr. Show. Austin Show is better show. than the, the Austin Show. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I agree. The is just redundant. Yeah. By the way, one thing we've never talked about on the podcast or live is our love for I'm a Cutie Pie. We both yeah, I love, love I'm a Cutie Pie. Mm. Riz. He says straight men don't have any Riz. George, I hope, well, George, Hassan, I hope you guys are the exception to this rule. I went out last night. I mean, you've uh -huh. seen, you've seen my situation. Yeah. I went out last night Man. with a group of beautiful women. Sure. To a bunch of straight clubs. And what I saw when straight men approached these women was shocking. I literally saw men going. Can I, can I give a very <laughs> controversial take? What? There is no such thing as risk. Whoa. Either a woman wants your attention or she doesn't. There's no magic combination of words I think, no, I think to like get them to be into you. I think you can take someone who at face value, just a picture, someone's not interested in, and then the way they are. I disagree. I think you can really? only I think you can only turn people off. Really? I, I don't this literally I agree with one hundred percent. I think that that attraction 
it first works on a binary scale and then you can only work down from yeah. that. Now listen, now listen, I'm not saying that there isn't some people that you see and there's a tipping point. Like you see someone and you're like, I'm unsure, right? Mm. But there's never been anyone you see and you're like, no. That then, really that then they like put together some magic string of words and you're like, right. wait a minute. <laughs> Well, no, I think where are my panties? I think that does happen. But yeah. what I think is if there's someone and they're like, you're like, eh, right? And then they can win you over. Cutie. Yeah, it's only in the middle. That's what I mean. And also, for the record, well, a lot of is. maybe this is where Will and I will uh, diverge, but I think a lot of men, if, if uh, they knew how to groom themselves, if they knew how to take care of their body, if they went to the gym, if they yeah, worked out, sure. if they gained a little bit more confidence as well as a consequence of all of that, they could get to a one level like with some work. This is my every guy's a seven theory. Like every but guy can is, be a seven theory. We're not theory. talking about this. We're talking about Riz. Riz is swipe. It's game. It has many names. But <clears throat> I'm telling you, all that game, swipe, and Riz is is being like baseline entertaining, baseline interesting, and not disgusting a woman so much that she turns well, away. And that, but that's what I saw a lot of, was that like men would be sitting you, there with a drink. Do you think those men had a chance in the beginning though? No. There you go. That's the point. No, no, 100%. Ah! Look, that's the point. Hey, the fucking man. Cutie, ah. I like your perspective on this because you were a single yes. woman at one time. Yes. And you were probably in club culture. No. Okay. What? what? No, of course not. <laughs> what? Yes, I was. I was. I was, no, I was hoping that you would say yes. I was. No, no, but, but yes. you are failing as a yeah, okay, okay. Yes, right look, look, cutie. I went to frat parties. Okay. So you you've experienced pickup culture in yeah, but no one ever hits on me. Fuck. Okay. Um, you've been you've been hit on by weird people before. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I dated them. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm I don't, get, I'm, I don't give I'll give my take vibes, to young men out there. And the, I'm ugly. The You're best, not ugly. The best riz that you can it's have so in true. the world, the best riz you can have in the world, is treating women like normal women. Yes. 100% correct. Do not try a pickup line. Do not try and, and treat them like they are some mythical animal. Just go up and be polite courteous treat them like human yes. beings and if they are into you have a normal fucking conversation it, it was very painful last night watching my girlfriends dance and watch them see guys trying to like tap them on the shoulder while they're dancing and then them act like they don't see him and him continue to try to like yeah that's that jimmy yeah. that brother's starving around. he's already yeah. and he, like he's cooked. what if they're just drunk and they're, they don't know what they're doing are you trying uh, look i just think I'm going to side with Will here and say, just treat men or women just like normal human beings. And I, I will, I agree with the fundamental things of what you said. Yes. If somebody doesn't like you, they're going to know. Pretty and quickly. you're going to know most of the what time. What do you think, George? You, you have, a, you disagree with this. Well, I think if, if someone in your mind is like acceptable, mm. they can become more than acceptable. I agree. But, yeah, I agree, that, but that's the I line. agree with that. But, but, but you, you already that, made that. You already right? made the decision that they're acceptable. Yes, right. Here's here's what I would say. But I think yeah. No, I think I'm going to be very to... frank about Riz. This okay. is my full take. I think Riz swipe game. It's all very problematic because it creates a mindset in young men that they can win someone over through some magic combination of behaviors and language who does not want to engage with them. And it also corresponds to the, another problematic concept called the friend zone theory, which is also not yes. a real thing at all. And this shit do not happen. And one step further, anytime they see a creator in a creative situation hit on a woman, here, like let's say you're trapped on camera with me and I'm like, what's up, bitch, nice ass. And you have to be like, ha ha. It's like, yeah, she has to do that. She's oh, on yeah. fucking camera. I used to go on a bunch of it, shows like that. Right. It, 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 <laughs> yeah, is, it is entertainment. It that has was nothing to <laughs> do. Who did that? They were it sick. Has nothing to do with real world interaction. Yeah, and so people. So the idea of W L Riz when it pertains to millionaires who women are on the shows of is such a misnomer. It's so it's so I agree. wrong. But I, I would agree with George too and say that. You do have to have the baseline, but after that, you can get once they're in, just a, of the foots in the door, they can. But what's the game? What's the game? Is it <coughs> is it dropping a pickup line? Is it no. doing something like some secret voodoo? No, it's treating them like yes. A human but I'll take it. I'll take but, it one step further from the other side of that. 
Part of the problem is that people think that there is some sort of riz, which is why yes. they are animals at these clubs. The, thinking no, that but that's, sort of but that's how clubs are I in general. Is that just club? That's what it's that. supposed to be. If you want to know what the real riz is, the real riz is closing. It's not actual interest. That's it's like this. Clipped. If I'm at the club, Hassan's my, yeah. Hassan's my, my attractive young woman, right? Mm. And I know he's into me because he's doing stuff like this, right? We have body Whoa. contact. We're talking. This is where a lot of young men get stuck. He's they, so all squirmy. Of a sudden, all of a sudden, they get the body heat and they're like, oh my God, I'm about to fuck. And they panic and they're like, I got to go. The Riz is this. What it, Whoa. It's that last phase. It's that Austin is looking at you, that. dude. I, you look, you looked at him with jealousy. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like taking into I yourself. I didn't see it. Can I? Can I see well, it? Well, the Riz is. <laughs> no, we don't need to see it. We again. have physical contact. We're talking. We have something going on. It's that last phase of being like, What's you know the what? Last phase? Okay, this is this is enough. It's the chin thing. Well, okay, chin and but no, it's it's Let not just that. You. But it's it's fair. Here's what I'm gonna say. I think. Riz, in the way that people try to define it or try to understand it, yeah. is not made in the nightclub when you're talking to a woman. Yeah. It's actually made in the kitchen. It's actually made in the fucking gym sessions. Mm -hmm. It's actually made oh, in the improving yourself. Yeah. I thought he was going you're this. Bad no, you were a bad person. You're both misogynist. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys went to a misogynistic direction. No, no. Riz is made in the sense that like yes. you, who you are. It's hard work. At the very moment that you first interact with that person that you want to, you know, uh, talk to. Yep. Who you are. All of the experiences that led up to that moment Rage. is what well, Riz, Riz is. That's just preparation. But that's what it is. That's, that's the thing is. that actually matters is what I'm work. trying to say. The hard work that you put it's in every goddamn I day. I've got, I've got a base take. All right, let's okay, hear base it. Take. two forms of attraction, at sure. least. One is physical, one is emotional, right? Right. Now, Riz is what you can say to increase the emotional attraction levels, okay? Now, you need both, mostly. Yeah. Can, well, you, I'll ask you a question. Okay. So you need Would you want to fuck someone who's not physically attractive to you? To me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, who, I, who literally, like, during bed has to, like, be like, I'm so emotionally attracted to you. I'm going to let you fuck me. I guess that would be weird. It's yeah. sad. It's The sucks. point is, attraction is subjective, yeah. too. So, like, there's no world in which you go, oh, I want to fuck this person that I consider to be unattractive. But I think emotion. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Emotion. Well, what, I, what I'm saying is this physical <laughs> attraction, which... It's the first checkbox, and the second checkbox check is emotional attraction. Which enhances and, physical attraction. Which it can, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Riz boosts your emotional attraction, makes it more likely to be checked. Yes. And That's I, fair. Yeah, I, I agree. I had, a, I had a boyfriend. Yeah, but the main barrier always is the physical. Sorry to no, cut no, you off. off. It's fine. No, Sorry no, to no, cut you off. off. I had a Set boyfriend that I was not at all attracted to, mm -hmm. not even an ounce. Okay, and you're a unique one, though. I get Stockholm Syndrome sometimes. But I was dating this guy. Well, because what happened? What what happened? Quick, two seconds. Uh, what happened was I. This guy took my virginity, and then he ghosted me. And then his best friend swooped in to he took your help scarf. the little mended, yeah, mended broken wing girl. And scarf. then I didn't Taylor know Swift I had reference. like I didn't know what to do because he was just there. So is this Riz? <laughs> no, but I'm saying I had no physical attraction to him like whatsoever. Zero. It sounds once horrible. again, once again, yeah. was it? Horrible? I'm sorry. And it was horrible. Did you sleep so with you him? So you should never, never. Okay, good. like once or twice, and it was miserable. Oh, you I, did sleep with well, him. Well, yeah, but cutie doesn't count. She's a different. Then I figured, I, why don't I count? This yeah, is, well, there's someone out there. They're that trying to eliminate to us from the podcast. No, there's tons of people out there that accidentally end up dating somebody that you shouldn't have dated. Yeah. All the time. And yeah, so that happens frequently. Don't do that is why I brought this up. Don't do that. Listen, Riz. Physical attraction is, I feel like has to be number if one. If I had to boil it down, Riz <laughs> is being charming. You can be charming without having an edge to it. You can also be charming to the same sex. You can also be charming to people that you aren't trying to fuck. Being charming is being engaged, listening, sparkle in your eyes. Oh, hey, cutie. I don't like What it. an amazing story. <laughs> I'm not also, charming. not seeming desperate not or needing person. something True. is very critical. True. I think you need to, the moment you appear very available and very eager is, is when you're starting to lose the game. Yeah. You need to appear confident, secure, engaged, sparkle in your eye. Hey, how are you? This is a big list. Also... Do not seem very eager. Oh, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Relaxed. And you can't just say that. You have to act it. Okay? You can't mm. right, right, George? You know right. how it is. Right. You you got you've got you've got you know the game. Yeah. Which by the way, no, we will be talking game. about more behind the paywall 
because that about does it for yes. the regular free part of the broadcast, right. I would say. Yep, I, I agree, but we, we did really good. Um, Why are you looking at yourself and the no, time? I was looking at you're the trying time. to see what the time no is. No idea what. Don't I'm worry no, about that. At your hair, no, ladies and gentlemen, no. boys, girls, and beasts. Thank you so much for watching Why are yet you another. Your hair right now? I just. I, just George uh, needs to shout out banter. George, uh, banter. Thank you so much for coming on. You yeah, were wonderful. You what do you want to shout out? Our banter set, and we can do a. Uh, oh, fear and collab. banter. Fear, fear and banter. banter. Uh, we wouldn't actually. Well, we'll make it bigger. We can take. You can take tons. We can all have fun. We have a wheel. We spend every five minutes. She's not coming because it's not here, is it? It's in North Carolina. Okay, that, here, is actually a gr- that is actually a great idea. The spinny wheel. Yeah, we spin the wheel oh, and you go to the And Cutie yeah. says she's going to fly and we're going to do a plane. vacation. You know what we should do? We should do a, we should do a live episode of Fear Hand. <gasps> I'm down to do all of that. Can okay. we get like a set first and like other shit? I think this set's very thumbnails nice. Thumbnails I like. Here's the bottle that comes at. I, I think this set, I think this set's me. very nice. Marsh, quit Marsh. blaming women. Okay. March is is gotta, March is also a misogynist. On other yeah. things right now. He's also she's a misogynist. On we're we're going to get another I have a late night show coming out. I'm so excited for thank that. Thank you. Finally. All right, we're going to revortex the origin and get focused real quick. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you to our guest George. You need to go check out Banter. It is tremendous. Oh, it is. They're you back will, from the dead. You and will likely see us on it at some point soon mm. or one of us or maybe just us on. I've I've been on Banter <laughs> already. Well, I'm going to be on it. But back when Will it wasn't just no, good. Not in, real life yeah. scene, not, in, not in the new band. We need to have you in the chat. We, we need to do banter and fear where we're all there and then fear and banter where you're all here. Oh, I like that. We did that with uh, the yard. Well, we're going to do it better. So Wow. We Ew. Don't we, don't, we, don't, we don't talk about the yard. Here. <laughs> Boo, you fucking slag. Yeah. You're fucking slag. I can't believe you. What a great episode, though. Thank you guys so much. We're going to be doing more great episode in the paywall. Uh, Which you can go find yep. at patreon.com slash fear and for five dollars a month. Because you weren't here for the first half hour, right? Yeah, that's right. It was I would never better. say a that. A lot of people tuned out after the first <laughs> half hour when I entered. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Peace. So I was in I was in West Hollywood. We hope. And I was there was like I heard just from a Mercedes, I heard F slur. Like they yelled uh, it. Wait, you want you, you don't want to say it? Mercedes, right? <laughs> no, I have a Porsche. It was like F slur, and I was like, "Wait, what is it? What does it say again?" I'm not gonna say it. I can't say. It. I'm too. You know, I'm too never said the F word. No. Yes, he has. I've heard him say it. <laughs> Damn like it. many Damn times, I will refuse to say it. I've camera. heard him say it off camera many times. Look, Why won't you say it? I, he's lying to you. And I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I realized that I'm in West Hollywood, yeah. and it was just a car full of gay people. Yeah, 100. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, they're just no saying. Hi. I was like. Oh, and then they were like, hey, and I was like, oh, hey. Yeah, there's no way. I said it back. <laughs> wait, what did you say? Uh, I said it right back. I was wait, like, wait, 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 wait. I, I'm they're like, they're like, they're I'm like, confused. What did you say exactly? Back? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> Why not?